Wow, great American hero Bernie Sanders knocks the skin off the ball at the Fox Fox News Town Hall in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Whoa, what a performance. What an honor that uh, Fox did for, for Bernie Sanders. And Bernie Sanders did well, but Fox News also, although combative, they gave Bernie Sanders a really good shake. They made him look good on the camera. They let him answer his questions. They didn't load up the audience like like CNN does, load up the audience with uh, people that hate him, asking trick questions. It was a good. It was good all around. Let's start off. There's a lot. There's a lot here. I'll try not to go too too long with it. But let's look at. Um, let's look at. It's mostly about the taxes, and um, that was. The, I'll just. I'll try to keep it limited to just the taxes. This is almost an hour of town hall meeting. You could watch it. I'll put all the links down below. You could watch it. If you're not familiar with this candidate, you should watch all of it and try to understand where the man is coming from. And um, but let's start off with his. Let's start off with Bernie Sanders's closing statement after an hour of being, uh, after an hour of answering questions. Let's listen. All right, Senator. Okay. Oh, we're going to give you the floor here for a closing statement. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, we want to give you a chance to give a closing statement. We're going to give him a floor for a closing statement here. All right. Well, thank you very much, and I hope I wasn't too hot. <laughs> they want to make sure that you know that we're giving him. The open mic, the closing statement with his audience is very—it's very noble. CNN would never do that. They want to—they want you to go out on a on a sour note. Oh, Bernie Sanders is socialist. Look how old he is. That's all right. We can take it. All right. All right. Look. Um, thank you all uh, very much for being here, and thank everybody for watching. Just a couple of points. Uh, I think sometimes the divisions in this country get a little bit too hot. Okay, at the end of the day, we are all Americans who love this country. And I also think, and the media plays not a good role in this, and again, not just Fox, is we have a lot more in common than most people think we do. All right, poll after poll. Should we raise the minimum wage to a living wage? Yes. Should we rebuild our crumbling infrastructure? Yes. Should we make sure that our veterans get the health care that they have earned? Yes. All right. Should we make sure that we do not cut Social Security or Medicare or Medicaid? Should we give huge tax breaks to billionaires? You know, that's how most people feel. And that's the sum total right there, Bernie. Bernie sums it up. See, he's not, he's not, if you ask the commentators, they'd say, oh, I fucking, I don't know, what? I make $6 billion million a year. What are you talking about, right? But when you ask the regular people, you get the right answer. Right? So, he did a, they did a great job of opening up the floor, but he, it was very combative. So let's listen to, um, let's look at, let's look at Bernie Sanders' taxes because that's the, that was the first half an hour of talk. Bernie, you're a millionaire. All right, so is Bernie Sanders a millionaire? Let's talk about it. Here's how much he made, right? 2009, um, he made between 0.2 and 0.4 million dollars. So he made about 280,000 dollars a year. From 2009, 2010, 2011, these are the biggest money-grabbing years for politicians. Nancy Pelosi accumulated a, a net worth of $100 million. Chuck Schumer, Barney Frank, all those thieves, all those thieves that took the money from the Wall Street bankers, took the money and, and let them off the hook. No consequences. They walked out the back door. Goldman Sachs, all these bankers that, that overtly committed fraud on the American people, went out the back door and all the politicians get paid. Did Bernie Sanders get paid? Nope, he did not. What did he get paid for in 2016, 17, and 18? Boom, he, he had a best-selling book in 2016, Our Generation, Our Revolution, whatever. 2017, Our Revolution, pile million dollars for him and his wife. Good thing, right? It's a good thing. That doesn't, that doesn't, that's not a bad thing, right? And then in 2018, he went down a little bit. Book sales were half of what they were plus his salary, right? No, nothing spectacular, right? So there's the 10 years. Where's Trump's 10 years tax returns? <laughs> He'll never get it. Huh? So, so, there, so there's, the, there's the tax issue. Let's see. Now let's watch the fist fight all the way through. Senator Sanders is hoping to get those voters back in the blue column. According to all recent polls, he's leading among declared Democrat candidates. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Bernie Sanders. 
Thank you very much. I want to also just mention that I forgot to mention we are all Americans. That's what Bernie Sanders summed it up, right? He said the we are all Americans. We have our differences, and we these are the things that we as Americans want. And what the media tells you is not what the American people want. What the media tells you is what the oligarchy wants. Wants what their donor class wants for for them. And then, and then, and they're supposed to portray that to, to, to as if it's for the people. So, thank you. thank you, Senator. We want to start. Uh, we're going to get a lot of questions from the audience. Martha and I will follow up throughout. Let's start by getting right to our audience. Our first question is from Joe. He is a student from Allentown, PA. Joe, what's your question? Hey, Joe. Hi, Senator Sanders. Uh, now that your tax returns have been released and you have been identified as a millionaire and in the top 1%, will you pay your fair share? And how do you plan to apply the policies that you have been talking about and forcing on top earners? Thank you. Before he answers, right? So Bernie Sanders paid his fair share of taxes. He's Instead of paying the 34%, which is for 1040, he paid the capital gains tax of 28% or 9%. Right? So going into the question, Bernie Sanders paid his fair share of taxes. Let's see how, how it turns out. Senator Sanders. Well, uh, I happen to believe, Joe, that we have an absurd tax system. And while millions of people today... Oops. I gotta watch a commercial. They are paying actually more in taxes than they anticipated. Amazon, Netflix, and dozens of major corporations, as a result of Trump's tax bill, pay nothing in federal taxes. I think that's a disgrace. So today we announced. Good job, Bernie. Gets it out on the record. Netflix, Apple, Microsoft, Brookshire Hathaway, all of these top Wall Street companies pay no tax. They, they bury their money in the Cayman Islands and, and in tax havens and pay nothing, contribute nothing. Good job. Now, you raise the issue, I am a millionaire. Well, actually, this year we had $560,000 in income. And that's a lot of money. And that money, in my case, in my wife's case, it came from a book that I wrote. Pretty good book. You might want to read it. <laughs> it's a bestseller. It sold all over the world, and we made money. So if anyone thinks that I should apologize for writing a best-selling book, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> But let me reiterate, I voted against, I guess on Fox News, you said that I benefited from Trump's tax bill. Did you tell people that I voted against Trump's tax bill? Sure, but you, okay. did, you did benefit yeah, from it. Stop right there for one second. So, so Bernie Sanders is telling the commentator, Brett, Barr, Brett Baer, that he voted against Trump's tax cuts. And then Brett Barr... In his, in his, from his perspective, well, you benefited from it, so, so you benefited from it. So shouldn't you give it back, or shouldn't, shouldn't you feel guilty about benefiting, or shouldn't you give Trump credit f because you personally benefited? That's what. That's the fundamental difference. The takeaway here is that Bernie Sanders is coming from a place of us. He's coming, I, and a lot of people disagree because of Russia Gate or some other smear. He's a socialist. But the fact is, if you look at Bernie Sanders over the years, Bernie Sanders, his whole and look at how much money he made. Where's the where's the fifty million dollars a year that he, that everybody else is making? Bernie Sanders doesn't take the money, right? But he's, the fundamental difference in 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 uh, ideology, the fundamental human nature of Sanders is for everybody, right? He's looking at as a politician, he looks out and says, "How can I help everybody?" My personal success is not a success story. When, my, when everybody is successful, then my story is successful. That's the fundamental difference that, that I, I mean, for me, it's, it's, there is no other perspective. There is no other choice in politician because if you have that sort of view at the top as a leader, that that stuff, that's the kind of thing you want to see trickle down. That's the kind of trickle down 
stuff that you 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 know you want to see not not greed and money grabbing and me first sort of stuff but i voted against it and i happen to believe that a tax bill written and pushed by trump who told the american people that that tax bill some of you may recall would not benefit the wealthy you remember that oh it's not going to benefit the wealthy 83 percent of the benefits went to the top one percent. Eighty-three percent of all new wealth went to the top one percent. Staggering. Eighty-three percent, right? And maybe the, the the remainder went to the top five percent, right? Nobody got anything more. Half of the country didn't get dick in the last year. So I think that's a bad idea. And in my view, people, whether it's me, you, you probably make a lot more money than I do. But whether it's me or you or anybody else, I think. Wealthy people and large corporations that are making billions of profits should start paying their fair share of taxes. But Senator... And now they're going to switch it, all right? So he makes the point that these corporations, billions and trillions of dollars are, are not paying any tax whatsoever. And now Brett Baer is going to switch it back to Bernie Sanders. What about you? All right, fair question. To, you, to your point and to Joe's point, your taxes do show that you're a millionaire. You did make a million in 2016, 2017. You're right, the 561 in 2018. But your marginal tax rate, tax rate was 26% because of President yeah. Trump's tax cuts. So why not say, you know, I'm leading this revolution. I'm not going to take those. <laughs> He's suggesting that, that he should, because he paid his fair share of taxes, he should voluntarily donate any other money above and beyond the theoretical uh, his theoretical uh, point, his his money point in the future, right? So he should he should not take any money. He should live poor or live uh, I don't know without the money. Give back the money, Bernie. Right? That's what he's that's what he's suggesting. And Bernie like, <laughs> come on, but there he... It's not a fair I am, question. I paid the taxes that I owe. And by the way, why don't you got Donald Trump up here and ask him how much he pays in taxes? I don't, I don't like him. He's, he's switching the gears. Oh yeah, Trump. We know Trump is a liar and a, and a schemer, and and is you know is a is a tax rigger. We know that already, right? What, why isn't Trump giving up his taxes? Because he's a fucking liar and a and a con man. I will. Yeah, well, look. well, I am eagerly awaiting you're doing that. Well, we'd love to have. We would love we'll, to have we'll that question. Get him up we here. And will. the president, I guess the president watches your network a little bit, right? Hey, President Trump, my wife and I just released 10 years. Please do the same. Let the American people know how much we All right. Bernie's growing some balls here. That's the, that's the takeaway. Bernie has some balls. How come he doesn't have balls when he goes into CNN? How come he doesn't have balls when Chris Cuomo asks him a stupid question and, and, and Bernie rolls over for a belly rub? You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he feels, in, he feels uh, bold when he's at <clears throat> Fox. He could say whatever he wants. But why does he got his testicles tied in a knot when, he, when, he's, when he's on CNN and MSNBC? Like, as if those people are, those are the people that hatchet you. Look how, look how good Bernie looks, right? They put him in a nice background. There's no red. They didn't make him look like an old, stupid man. They didn't, they didn't rig the audience with, with all um, uh, Bernie haters, right? They, this is an actual audience. It's just re it looks like real people asking real questions. Okay, they know what the questions are, you know, but uh, and they know what their follow-up question is going to be to that question. However, there is a majority of the people in there rooting for Bernie Sanders. You would never have that at CNN. You would never have that at, at uh, Telemundo or MSNBC. Not going to happen. But just, just to wrap that up. You do spend a lot of time vilifying millionaires. No, and I don't vilify. Them. The fact that I think people who are doing phenomenally well right now, as you know, for 40 years we have seen a shrinking middle class. We've got 40 million people living in poverty. And today, just so happens that the very wealthy are doing incredibly wealthy. It's not vilifying to say that people who have a whole lot of money, in some cases billions of dollars of wealth, they should pay their fair share of taxes. Right. Well, Brett, a lot that's of, not vilifying. Yeah. Last question on this. The, a lot of millionaires and billionaires give a ton to charity. You gave 3.4%. Yeah. My wife and I do give money to charity. All right? And we're proud to do what we did. There are others. You're quite right. There are people. Gates Foundation do a phenomenal job. We do what we do. 
All right. They tried to make him into a cheapskate. You only gave 3.4% of your money. You should give more, Bernie. You're a socialist. Right? That's what they're trying to do. 3.4% right? uh, of, of, you know, of a million dollars is what? It's 30 grand. Right? So he's $34,000 he gives to charity. That's not, that's not uh, nothing to sneeze at. Of course, you know, billionaires give billion, a million dollars, but that's, that's, like a, that's not 3% of their net worth or their, their revenue for the year. Hell no. It's much less. I got a couple questions for you. So you, you recommended a, a wealth tax, 70% wealth tax. No, actually, I didn't. That was 70, somebody 77%. Else. No, I think another person. It was 50%. What would, what's your number? What's my number? Well, I'll tell you what I think. I think that in order to make sure that elderly people do not continue to live in poverty, and you got 20% of elderly people trying to get by of thirteen dollars or $14,000 a year, I think we should raise that cap for people making $250,000 or more so we can make sure that our parents can live out their lives in dignity. I'll tell you what else I think. I think at a time when Wall Street is doing phenomenally well and we have millions of young people who are deeply in debt for the crime of having gone to college, I believe we should pass a speculation tax Well, that, on that's Wall fine, Street. but I'm asking you about the wealthy and how much higher you would make it. You said yeah, you, I, you I don't agree with 70%. What would your number be? In the campaign in 2016, we talked about 52%. All right, so 52%. So would yeah. you be willing to pay 52% on the money that you made? Also, you can volunteer. You can send a check. Oh, you can volunteer, too. We have a... But you suggested, have, you suggested that uh, that's hey, what Martha. everybody in your bracket should do. And Martha, why don't you give? You make more money than I do. Well, why I don't you I give? I didn't suggest a wealth tax. And she's not running for president. And All right, but we're going to fight for a wealth tax. So they're teaming up on him, right? They keep pushing, give back your money, Bernie. Right? It's just a, it's just unfair. It's not. They're not legitimate questions. And Bernie Sanders is standing up for himself, finally. Finally, he's growing. He looks like he's got a little backbone. He's a little crunched over. Maybe stand up a little straighter, Bernie. But they're, they're just trying to hammer him like, like, he, like trying to make him feel guilty he paid his fair share of tax. He also said if we should raise it to 52%, he'd be willing to pay, of course. But under the current current conditions, that's that's his tax bracket. He paid his fair share. And they're trying to make him seem like, oh, you should you should give back your, your money, right? Isn't that what you're all about? Giving you don't want to take anybody's, you don't want to be have too much money, right? Money's ugly. You don't want to give, you know, oh, you're rich now. Give back your money. See, that's the the, the way they're trying to frame it. Right? That's it's it's a one percent mentality. That's the idea. That's the fundamental difference. I think it's um I got this other note. Hold on. At the right here, that really exemplifies what we're talking about. There's a lot of other arguments in it. You should I'll probably you know read all your commercial. poems out loud. Dogs are very good to read poetry too. Talk about how Watch you pay this. for, which That's is a real question. Absolutely. But I just want to back on the, the taxes briefly. You know, when you wrote, wrote the book and you made the money, yeah. isn't that the definition of capitalism, the American dream? No. <laughs> I mean, you know, what? There's the fundamental difference, the fundamental, the ideological difference in a Brett Bear trying to project the American dream on someone like Bernie Sanders. As I said before, Bernie Sanders sees it as we're, it's for us. I'm a politician. I'm not an individual. Right? And my success, I view success as when everybody's boat rises a little bit and not just my boat or not just the billionaire next door. It's a fundamental difference in ideology. Right? That's, that's what, that's, that's what I, I gather. I'll give you an example. Right? I watched a... Uh, I don't know why I was watching it, but I was watching this video of the uh, the Navy SEALs, right, and the training that the Navy SEALs go through. And the fundamental principle of Navy SEALs training is that it's a team effort, that the chain breaks at the weakest link, that there are no individuals here, and everything we suffer together, we, we rise together, we lay in the freezing cold water with arms locked together to train ourselves to, to, to not leave anyone behind. That's the fundamental difference of what is capitalism. Capitalism is not cutthroat, step on the guy, 
below you, me first, me only, but a system of, of checks and balances of, of, uh, money flow, the velocity of money, where money flows through an economy and all people have opportunity rather than what we currently have is monopoly and oligarchy, which Bernie Sanders doesn't use those terms today, but always does is, is that, uh, when all the money is 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 uh, is is confined to the top, it's the phenomena of uh, you could say manure, right? Another analogy where, you know, when you pile up manure like horse shit and cow shit and chicken shit, when it's piled, it smells, right? It stinks and it rots, right? That you can look at it as money. When you pile it up, it rots and stinks and makes a mess, right? And it's ugly to look at, but then. When you spread it out, you spread it out amongst the farm, it does a lot of good, right? That's Bernie Sanders in my view. What we want is a country where everybody has opportunity. You know, I have a college degree. Look, I'm a United States Senator. But a lot of people don't have a college degree. A lot of people are not United States Senators. I want everybody in this country to be able to have health care, to have education, to when they turn on the water have drinkable water not top- so that's all i wanted to i just wanted to make that that uh, known let's talk about the uh, trump pathological liar you should probably Another read all your poems out so, loud dogs are I'm not going to give it to him <laughs> i'll tell you what upsets me but i'll tell you what upsets me the most and i'm going to answer your question is that um, whether you're conservative or moderate or progressive i don't think the american people are proud that we have a president who is a pathological liar. And I was just, and I say that, you know, it does not give me pleasure to say that, all right? I disagreed with George W. Bush on almost everything. Bush was not a pathological liar. Trump cannot even tell the truth, even as to where his father was born. It's really that crazy. His father was born in New York. He claims he was born in Germany. But if you can't even tell the truth about where your father was born, it's hard to believe anything that he says. But to answer your question, look. It, that's a, it's, just a, it's just a blisteringly important question because I know there's, there's people that, that have been lied to by Trump and believe that Trump is playing this 4D chess, 8D chess. Right? He's playing chess with everybody. He's, you have to lie to get what you want. I just fundamentally disagree with that. I think that Bernie Sanders is, is the opposite of that where if you, can, if, that, if you lead with the truth, and millions of people support that truth, then you can win. Right? Now, I also fundamentally disagree with the idea that if you're of the, the mindset of nothing can change, right? nothing at all in this life can change, right? we're fucked. Right? And all, any politician, any leader is always going to be corrupt, and you're never going to get what you want. And corporations are going to continue to steal, and the deep state is continue is going to continue to kill human beings, and 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 wars are going to continue. If that's what you believe, come over to New York. When you're here, email me. We'll go to Coney Island. I'll dig you a hole. I'll dig you a nice hole in the sand, and you can put your head in that sand, and you could sit, and and I'll, I'll bury you, and you'll feel comfortable. You have your head in the sand. Because it's really no difference from where you are now. Now, if you're of the mind frame that change can happen and it happens from the bottom, the example of Yellow Vest, right, where people rise up and say, we've had enough of this. We ha- we've had enough of politicians lying to us. We're going to stick with someone who actually leads with policy, is not a authoritarian leader per se, like you know Sanders is certainly not that, He's also he's he's been on the record saying I believe in many leaders, but he's he's about it's I mean I get to speak from my own example right I'm only here because of that guy right because of his his inspiration to get busy and make change and get off your ass and stop blaming everybody for your fucking problems right to get off your ass and and call out the problem in this country. The, the universal problem of income and wealth inequality, the problems of health care, the problems of, you know, pharmaceutical industrial complex, military industrial complex, uh, you know, too many people in jails, violence, 
the outbreak of violence, drug addiction, right? To get busy, right? And and talk about it. Corruption, money in politics, greed, right? That's what he's inspired people to do and to wake up to those notions, right? Now, what is Trump waking people up to? What is the current trajectory of politics right now waking us up to do? Shh, sit and wait. Trust the trust the politician. Trust the, the lying motherfucking politician that lies to you over and over again and, and tries to convince you, no, no, the lie is the truth and the truth is the lie. I, I, just, I just fundamentally, it's a difference in ideology is what I'm saying. And you say, well, Bernie Sanders still promoting Russiagate. Maybe Bernie Sanders believed that, maybe he believed that he was supposed to believe the intelligence communities that Russia had something to do with rigging an election. And maybe they found something that Trump did to confirm that, right? He believed the lie, right? Does it make him, does it make him a bad person? No. Does it show some degree of bad judgment? In my opinion, it does. But does it disqualify him from, from leading with policies that benefit all, all the people of America that he's been leading with for 40 years? Does it disqualify him to, to take those policies and lead a nation? Absolutely not. He's, he, you know, and to, to pick a cabinet, not a swamp cabinet with, you know, guys like John Bolton and Steve Mnuchin and a Elliot Abrams and Mike Pompeo, full on swamp creatures, full on CIA scum to lead our country, right? That's what we have right now. Full on swamp, right? Does it, does it disqualify Bernie Sanders? Anything that Bernie Sanders has ever done disqualify him from picking a legitimate cabinet like a, Tulsi Gabbard, for example, for Secretary of State or 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 a National Security Advisor, or Elizabeth Warren as a as a Vice President, someone who could break up big tech. That's walking the walk and talking the talk, all always under a leadership of Bernie Sanders. Does that disqualify the American people from getting that because because Bernie Sanders made a million dollars, or because Bernie Sanders? Uh, you know, believed the Russia nonsense. And Bernie Sanders also believed that the way to overcome oligarchy and to win, win position is to inspire people and not to constantly call them liars and cheaters. Yes, the Democratic Party cheated, no doubt about it. Unequivocally, without a doubt, undeniable at this point that the Democratic Party cheated Bernie Sanders in 2016 for the nomination. Having said that, Bernie Sanders is comfortable believing that, that the better way to go is to not piss and moan and cry about it, but to come back and, and win another day. Did Bernie Sanders betray his, his crowd? That's another one. It doesn't seem so because he's still here and you're still with your head in the sand in Coney Island with, with the Trump guy, with your head in the sand saying, oh, no, no, he fucked this over, never again. Right? Well, I, I'm not voting for the person. I'm not moved by the person. I'm moved by by policy. And and that's you know, that's where I stand. I'm I, I stand, as Bernie says, we are all Americans. I stand with the ninety nine percent of Americans on this. So thank you, Fox News, for for hosting this superb candidate in his uh, quest for the presidency. We all benefit if this uh, if this happens and the Democrats don't cheat him, we all benefit from it. Marcus Conti reporting.